Certain people in this Sunday's Gospel story looked very much like they thought of themselves above the law, or one law for them, another for everyone else, the lower orders. Now this may or may not have a familiar ring to it. But these people, when Jesus was in the thick of his ministry, undoubtedly saw themselves as superior beings. The Gospel writers generally refer to them as the teachers of the law, or the scribes and the Pharisees, and they're almost always portrayed negatively, not least by Jesus. The moment of this woman's arraignment and judgment, and then the intervention of Jesus, is dramatic. It's not at all clear which way it will go. Jesus was taking a risk. The powerful were already watching him. He was getting under their skin. His integrity was shaming them and their lack of integrity. And the woman that they brought was like an old-fashioned, Old Testament scapegoat for their own shortcomings. What's the law for? What's the law that we, as followers of Christ in Scotland in 2022, look to? We are not excused from obeying the legitimate authorities, as St. Paul, no less, pointed out. Nor are we excused from praying and discerning about it if we see that this or that law is unjust, especially if it degrades or devalues human life, always sacred in the eyes of the Christian. Catholic folk are currently making their voices heard anent, for example, the Nationality and Immigration Bill. And we've spoken out consistently over so many years about the sanctity of life itself. And our actions, such as our support for Skiaf's campaigns in, for example, Malawi, speak of the higher law that we want to observe. What is this law? It's none other than what Jesus demonstrated in this extraordinary little story this Sunday. It's what we do and why we support people in Ukraine and with Skiaf in Malawi. It's the law of forgiveness, the law of mercy.